Kiber Sheik and Erkabarshikan is a medium-range ballistic missile of the third generation of Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps missiles, which was unveiled in a ceremony attended by senior Iranian military commanders the occasion of the 43rd anniversary of the Iranian Revolution. Kiber Sheikhan means fortress breaker. Kiber is the Jewish fortress that was conquered by the Muslims in the beginning of Islam, Sheikhan is equal to breaker or destroyer. Kiber Sheikhan missile has been described as the world's longest range solid fuel tactical ballistic missile. In the landing phase, this missile has significant maneuverability to pass through anti-missile systems, and its optimal design has reduced its weight by one-third compared to similar samples, and its preparation and firing time has been reduced by one-sixth. Extreme agility and speed, as well as the ability to hit targets within a radius of 1450 kilometers, are other capabilities of this missile. Kiber Sheikhan missile has a detachable and guided warhead until the end of the route, and the ability to perform maneuvers. The warhead speed of this missile in the final phase is between 7 to 10 Mach. Kiber Sheikhan missile warhead is a triconic type missile that uses this configuration to maintain stability during heavy maneuvers. Examination of the published images of the Kibarshikan rocket shows the significant acceleration of this rocket after launch, which indicates the high speed of the rocket before leaving the Earth's atmosphere, so that the rocket reaches speeds above 4 to 5 Mach before leaving the atmosphere. Such high acceleration greatly reduces the effects of deceleration due to the gravitational force of the Earth, which ultimately leads to an increase in the range of the rocket. Another advantage of the Kiber Sheikhan missile is its smaller size compared to similar models in the country. Shrinking the missile has significant advantages, including the smaller the missile, the more it can be stored in underground missile bases. Another advantage is the ability to use a wide range of launchers, which, according to published images, the launcher used for the Kiber Sheikhan missile is mounted on a 10-wheeled commercial truck that can also be camouflaged as a commercial vehicle. Solid fuel ballistic missiles such as the Fatat, Zulfiqar, and Desfil have previously been observed on dual launchers, but this is the first time that Iran has unveiled dual launcher for missiles with a range of 1,450 kilometers. Another issue in the study of the Kiber Sheikhan missile is the type of warhead that, according to the published images, the warhead is of the type of high explosive. According to the commander of the IRGC Air Force, materials have been used in the Kiber Sheikhan war, which has increased its explosive power several times. Considering the way this missile is registered, it is possible to consider the possibility of developing trench-breaking warheads for this missile as well. Israel's feedback. In another development, the IRGC showcased its power and ballistic missiles in its recent massive joint military exercises by launching 16 ballistic missiles of different classes simultaneously and said the drills carried a stark warning to Israel. The drills sought to showcase the maneuverability of solid-fuel missiles to cross enemy shields and simultaneous strikes, and to improve the combat readiness of the IRGC's forces. On the final day of the large-scale exercise, dubbed Great Prophet 17, the IRGC Aerospace Force launched a simultaneous operation and destroyed the intended targets using both offensive drones and long-range, medium-range, and short-range ballistic missiles. All missiles and drones hit the specified targets precisely, the commander of the IRGC Aerospace Force Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizada said on the sidelines of the drills, referring to the firing of Emmet, Gadr, Sejal, Zeltzel, and Zalfagar ballistic missiles. Before the drills, Israeli officials had increased threats against Iran, especially over the ongoing negotiations in Vienna, to revive the 2015 Iran nuclear agreement, which the Israeli regime staunchly opposes. The regime in Tel Aviv also threatened to attack Iran, with the Minister of Military Affairs, Benny Gantz, telling American officials that he had directed the regime's military to prepare for the possibility of a military strike against Iran's nuclear facilities. 
Having witnessed Iran's missile capabilities, the Israeli regime's Prime Minister Naftali Bennett made a statement seen as a step back following the IRGC exercise, saying that he welcomes a good deal in Vienna talks. At the end of the day, of course there can be a good deal, Bennett told Israeli Army Radio. Also, the IRGC spokesman Brigadier General Ramazan Sharif said, after the exercise, the Zionists' prime minister officially ordered their military figures not to talk about Iran at all. Thank you.